My Adidas walked through concert doors and roamed all over Coliseum floors. I stepped on stage at Live 8. All the people gave and the poor got paid. And out of the speakers, I did speak. I wore my sneakers, but I'm not a sneak. My Adidas cut the sand of a foreign land. With Mike in hand, I called, took command. My Adidas and me, close as can be. We make a main team, my Adidas and me. My Adidas. My Adidas. My Adidas. My family is originally from China. Sao Paulo, Brazil. From Israel. Colombia. Bhutan. Bangladesh. Puerto Rico. Bosnia, Herzegovina. Now I live at Astoria, Queens. Bayside, Queens. Russia. Jamaica. Long Island City. Forest Hills. Astoria. 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 Alice, Queens. Now, who is this, uh, the basketball jersey? That's my boy, Royale Ivy. He a local kid, Philadelphia, Milwaukee Bucks. OKC. Okay, he went to school with him? Yeah, whenever he in town, he always stop by. When I go back to Hollis, I always surprise my parents. They never know when I'm coming. Royale. I just pop up. He likes to surprise us and make his cameo. I don't Big know shot. where he gets that, to me, but he likes it. from me. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> he likes to surprise us. I'm privileged to be from Hollis, Queens, because of the people, because of the culture because of the stardom, Run DMC. You know, those guys were rock stars. They're living legends. Their music is known all over the world. I take that with me and I carry it everywhere. I'm always a POME, product of my environment. And I used to write that on my shoes, that and KTF. Keep the focus, keep the faith, no matter what. Every time I look at my shoes, that put me in the right mind frame when I walked out on the court. Good luck, thank you. I actually had to audition to get into high school, Benjamin and Cardoza, via the dance program. I did tap, modern, jazz, ballet, hip hop. I got teased a lot in high school, but it definitely helped me with my lateral movement, being light on your feet. So it was a plus for me. One of my teammates, he was actually in a dance class. He said, you know, you should try out for the basketball team. But I didn't make the team because my grades weren't good. And that was a long walk home, just trying to figure out how I'm going to explain to my pops, because academics is big in my household. My dad, he's quiet, but he's my biggest critic. My parents are artists, so it's different. They're not narrow-minded people, but they didn't know the nuances of sports. They're very talented with their hands, and I'm talented with my feet. My sophomore year, I came back, and I was ready for the challenge. Starting at forward, uh, number 12, Royal Ivy. Didn't even come to the school to play basketball, just picked it up recently. He can dance, involved like in theater. And Senior year, 1999, memorable season. Now he gives it to Ivy. Ivy hits the three ball. Royal Ivy is on the money. We won the city championship. MVP in Madison Square Garden. The Cardoza judges win this year's Class A Boys Championship. Let the celebrations in Queens begin. Standing on 25th Street. Funky fresh and yes. Cold on my feet. With no shoestring in them. I did not win them. I bought them off the ab. With the black lead denim. And I walked down the street in a bop to the beat with the lead on my legs and Adidas on my feet. Yo. <laughs> Who you like in the drive? I don't know. I, li I like the um, kid from Ohio State. Yeah. yeah, I like him. He remind me of Brandon Roy. And he a lefty. Yeah. It seems like yesterday, every time the draft comes up, I relive that. We had a promise from Milwaukee that they were going to take me. On the day of that draft, the Milwaukee Bucks traded the, the 48th pick. And I'm like, man. I'm not going to get drafted. We're sitting by the TV. First round goes by, I don't get drafted. So I'm like, man, this ain't, this not going down. And uh, my agent calls me. I remember that call I got. He called me and was like, Roy, 
Atlanta's taking you with the 37th pick. And when he called me, I dropped the phone and I just started crying. And it was like, it was tears of joy because all my hard work paid off. And that was just like the greatest feeling I ever had when I got that call. I played in the NBA for a decade. Nobody gave me a chance. Nobody said a, a kid from Hollis would play in the NBA for 10 years. For me, that means a lot. Yeah, keep your head up. It's a keep special place. Up. Good defense. I like that. Put your hands up. Good, good. I said I wanted to do something for the kids, you know, to get off the streets. My dad said, let's do a basketball clinic, teaching basketball, the fundamentals, and learn about life. I tell the kids, always be a dreamer. Like, whether they want to be a, a plumber, an astronaut, you have to invest into those dreams. Don't limit yourself. And don't let anybody tell you no. You come back the next day, no matter what. I want my shoes to take me to be a scientist and get a doctor's degree. To own many businesses. To the top of my profession while still being a great mom. Around the world. Straight to the promised land. Anywhere possible. To medical school. Definitely around the world. Somewhere exotic. To the Amazon. To fish the mighty river. I want my shoes to take me to the NBA. My sneakers took me everywhere. But now I'm transitioning to another goal of mine, to become a head coach one day. My dreams, I'm living them out, but I'm still dreaming. I'm gonna never stop dreaming.